Welcome back to another week at Visalia CRC Youth. It is week two of our series called Five Hours, where we're studying the last five hours that Jesus had with all of his disciples. This is the Last Supper, the Lord's Supper. And we're, we're digging in uh, to see what God, what Jesus uh, was teaching his disciples, what he was reiterating. Um, because like I said, repetition is the mother of all learning. And there's some, there's some important things here that Jesus is repeating um, that, that aren't super obvious repetition. Now, as children, we, we've often heard about this golden rule. And I'm sure that, uh, that you've heard it, but I'm not sure it's the same golden rule um, that I heard as a kid. When I was a kid, there was this rabbit in the movie called Bambi. His name was Thumper, and Thumper had a golden rule, or maybe his, his mom had a golden rule. And that rule was, If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Pretty, pretty valid rule. You're right, right? Good deal. Uh, but you might not know that the actual golden rule is a Christian rule. See, it's been so secularized uh, that we don't even necessarily know the same one. Uh, and it's and it's in a movie about um, a deer. How does, what does that have anything to do with God? Yeah, maybe I don't know if you want to argue symbolism. That's another conversation. But there's a true golden rule, and it comes from Scripture. It says, "Do unto others what you wish they would do unto you," and it comes from the mouth of Jesus. Well, he's teaching the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew seven, chapter twelve. Now, last week we read and we talked about Jesus' foot washing. <clears throat> now, this week, as we continue our series, I want to ask, why? Why did we talk about Jesus' foot washing? Why did Jesus wash his disciples' feet? See, we know that, that Jesus washing his disciples' feet was not common. It was strange. Um, rabbis didn't do that. So what was the point of Jesus doing that? Today, we're going to talk about the golden rule because Jesus wasn't washing his disciples' feet just to clean them. He was doing two things. First, he was foreshadowing his perfect sacrifice. Just a few hours after this meal, Jesus is going to be taken out of the garden and carried into trial. He's going to be beat, he's going to be stripped of his clothes, and he's going to be tried for things that he didn't do. Right, and then later he's going to be um, he's going to be found guilty. He's going to die on the cross. He's going to bear our sins, and he's going to cleanse us. But the second thing is that he's showing us a perfect example of how we should be serving others. It's not just about learning from the teachings of Jesus, right, Jesus. And his disciples just spent the last three years together and his disciples were trying to learn everything, but clearly they were still missing things. And one of those things was doing things. So you see, it's, it's, it's more than just hearing and learning. It's, it's about following Jesus' actions. See, Christianity isn't primarily about emotions and how close we feel to God and, and, and how, how doing good things makes us feel. It's about knowing and understanding the gospel. The gospel provides the core of Christian living. And he's actually carried out in this golden rule. First, we need to recall what Jesus has done for us. We need to know and understand the sacrifice that he made for us. But then secondly, and just as important, we need to carry out the same for others. And that's what Jesus is calling us to here. So what does it look like then um, to live a Christian life? What does it look like to carry out the same for others as Christ did for us? Does it mean that we should be washing each other's feet as a part of worship? I can see through the camera that a few of you are really nervous that I'm about to say yes. But no. No. Don't worry. Now, foot washing isn't bad. I'm not trying to say um, that if, if you've ever been a part of a foot washing ceremony, that's a bad thing. 
But that's, that's not what Jesus was trying to do here. He wasn't trying to institute this as a part of our regular worship. He was setting an example of humbling himself and serving others that we are to follow. So the question here is, what is your foot washing? Jesus served his disciples, his followers, by humbling himself and washing their feet. What is something then that you should humble yourself to do for others? How can you serve those around you, your peers, your family, your small group leaders? As we dig into tonight's portion of our series on the five hours, let's talk about Jesus' example. What would it look like for you to live a life and accept the challenge that Jesus gives to us? How can we wash each other's feet this week? What does it look like to live by God's golden rule?